Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. I know I've been doing a lot of them over the past month or so, but I've gotten into the game and it's held my interest. And it's really starting to get intense and wonderful with the storytelling and the environment is extremely rich. Now, Angelo Bronte um, has given um, the gang some information about places to rob. And one of them is the main streetcar office. And Mr. Morgan is going to meet Lenny and Dutch and rob the streetcar office. But in typical rock star fashion, nothing works out quite the way it should. So let's get on with this mission called Urban Pleasures. He'd have been murdered on the spot. But if they got to him, got inside his head, there you are. Ooh, Come no. on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave forever. We've been doing well, making money, but for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear, be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. How are we going to get enough money for the passage of a whole boat, a captain's discretion, and land enough to keep us all? In there. So we are going to rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice, not mine. Kindly open that gate. And Give me your money. Ain't worth dying. It's yours. Have it. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance hand over all your money now. Quick. Okay. Fine, it's yours. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you, behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down! We got you surrounded! That Six greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now!
Now, it's obvious Angelo Bronte lied to the gang, and they have to get away. And this is where you're going to have to shoot up police and Pinkertons or whatever who come to pursue you because you got to protect Dutch and Lenny, and you've got a high wanted level. It's not that hard, actually, and you just got to keep shooting, but they will keep pursuing. So let's let things play out, and you can see what happens next.
back there. Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. And we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. And there you have it. Very little money and a bounty of $165. That's a lot of money. And of course, Bronte has pissed off Dutch. And Dutch wants revenge. And that is the end of this mission. If you like it and found it informative, hit the thumbs up button. Uh, feel free to subscribe. I love subscribers. They help keep the channel going and help boost my ratings in the whatever algorithm YouTube uses. If you like this type of video, right now I'm posting a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. And you don't want to miss out, so hit the subscribe button and bell icon. And you'll be notified when I post videos, even non-Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And most of all, thanks for stopping by.